well, here's something new. We're going to do a media literacy video about an article that's about me. Must have been a slow news day. <laughs> From the Daily Mail, the book that TikTok wrote. Omid Scobie admits research on the so-called turnip toffs includes videos by internet sleuth. Only thank you. And the royal correspondence he's so critical of. Let's start with the misleading headline. The book that TikTok wrote. No, it didn't. Because as the article notes, it's only in the source notes for chapter eight that I am cited. The notes section for chapter eight starts on page 389 and goes to 391 under the section that was additional reading and research was useful from books like Robert Jobson, Anna Pasternak, The American Duchess, as well as the research on the turnip toffs, which I produced. I love the phrase admit though. It almost sounds like confessing to a wrongdoing or, or something that you didn't want people to find out. Like it's literally in the source notes. It's, it's not some sort of big secret. I'm obsessed with the part in parentheses that says, and the royal correspondence he's so critical of. Source notes are not friendship bracelets. You don't only cite people that you like and agree with. That's not how this works. First sentence. Omid Scobie has admitted to using TikToks from a, quote, young American internet sleuth, end quote, to research the turnip tops for his explosive royal book, Endgame, which came out this week. I'm cracking up at the young American internet sleuth line. I was like, where did they get that? Because a follower of mine on YouTube gave me that nickname months ago and I thought it was hilarious. And then I remembered I put it in my Instagram bio. <laughs> uh, this has been a really weird week. Further down. The influencer who has more than 82,300 followers on TikTok excitedly shared the citation with her followers in a video this week. The social media star, thank you tearfully explained that the good news came shortly after her grandfather passed away, so emotions are running high. How do I explain to my family that my grandfather's death made it into the Daily Mail? Also, somewhere Norm is getting just the best laugh over that. They go on to essentially transcribe that video. Quote, Meredith also admitted that she was contacted by Omid's team to get her full name in case the part made it into the final draft, but had no idea until she read the book. I feel like revealed would have been a better word. I also never said I was contacted by Omid's team. Yes, getting the full name of someone that you want to cite in a book or any kind of research is just standard practice. Obviously, this article is not meant as a positive. It's meant to further cast doubt on the sourcing for Scobie's book. It's also elitist. It's meant to reduce me as just some random TikToker. And the fact that I use this medium and others to democratize the research and information that I find and to make media literacy accessible to everyone so they can be better consumers of the news doesn't negate my very real experience and my damn good researching skills. I obviously know that I went to college for broadcast journalism and history and that I was a nationally ranked collegiate speech and debater and that my previous jobs included social media marketing, political communications, as well as writing for a website. Not to mention no one is using one TikTok as a standalone source, just like no one is going to use one book as a source. You are going to cross check the information in there and go to the original source material. Just wanna end on this. The Daily Mail did reach out to me before publishing this article. Here's the message. They pointed to the fact that my video where I talk about being a source for the book is mentioned. But what they were actually asking for and asking me to sign off on was permission to use my videos and screen grabs, any videos or screen grabs, which that coupled with the fact I knew this wasn't going to be a glowing article, I declined. Always check to see what people are asking before you give away your stuff, as I currently give away all my stuff to social media conglomerates. Anyway, weird week. <laughs>